Hello cousins near and far. Welcome to my channel Ancestral Spotlight. Today we're shining the spotlight on two women shrouded in mystery and myth, completely unsourced and unverified. Assumptions. Yet one of them hangs in the branches of many family trees. Proof of their existence is lost in antiquity, at least for now. These women, saddled with the same name as with their fathers, causing many to believe they are one and the same. For the sake of this video, we're going to explore context clues and demonstrate how these two women are not the same person. Featured in my video, The True Relation Between Ragnar and Rollo, we view Thora Sigurdsdottir in a capacity presenting her as a contemporary of Ragnar Lothbrok. In a family unit making her the sister of Ragnar and the daughter of Sigurd Hring Randersson, the legendary king of Sweden and Denmark. Whether her name was Thora or not, we see her generally accepted, yet without proof, as the wife of Ragnarvold Heidemherr Olofsson. You can learn more about him in my video titled as his name, linked in the description box below. With context clues, the historical events in the timeline of the men around her, her potential father, potential husband, potential brother Ragnar, and his famous and documented sons, we can do some basic calculations and see how these puzzle pieces come together. Her father, Sigurd Ring, is believed to have reigned sometime in the 8th century, as did her husband's father, who died circa 860 AD, so heading into the late 9th century. Her husband came into power in Vestfold at his father's death, and so far, the timeline aligns. We can imagine that Ragnarvold Heidemherr was a fully grown man coming into power, and can assume he was probably born in the very late 7th century to early 8th century, circa 790 AD. When we look at his potential brother-in-law, Ragnar Lothbrok, we know Ragnar left progeny, who were an acting revenge for his death in an event known as the Great Heathen Army, which began in 865 AD and raged until 878 AD. This great army was led by five of Ragnar's sons, Ivar the Boneless, Björn Ironside, Uba, Sigurd Snake in the Eye, and Hafdan. There were many battles fought, and many lands and titles taken by the sons of Ragnar. These sons were warriors, tried and proven enough for men to follow them into a campaign not just against the entirety of the Anglo-Saxon kingdoms, but the Bretonic kingdoms as well. So these sons were not children, nor were they old men at the onset of this campaign, calculating by the ages of their own progeny, so were likely somewhere in between the ages of 20 and 40 years old in 865 AD, thus averaging Ragnar's birth circa 790 AD the same time period as his potential brother-in-law, Ragnarvold Heidemherr, husband of Thora. Therefore, this Thora Sigurdsdottir was likely born circa 790 to 800 AD, placing her around the same age as her husband and brother. So, although unsourced and unverified, this Thora, whomever she may have been, if she existed at all, holds enough glue to stick logically if evidence of her comes to light. Now, let's turn to the other Thora Sigurdsdottir. When we speak of Thora, Ragnar's sister, the daughter of Sigurd Hring, people often confuse the kenning Hring for Sigurd Snake in the Eye, a son of Ragnar. Sigurd Hring was Ragnar's father, and so the grandfather of Sigurd Snake in the Eye. While we're unsure why Sigurd Hring bore his kenning Hring, we do know that Sigurd Snake in the Eye was born with a marking in his eye, presumably a marking in a ring shape similar to the Ouroboros of Norse mythos. Therefore, one could imagine that a small child born with a similar feature or marking as his grandfather, that he might be named after that grandfather. And so, we see two similar kennings, Hring and Snake in the Eye, for the similar marking and the two men named Sigurd. We know that Sigurd Snake in the Eye was a younger son of Ragnar. He was three years old when his half-brothers Eric and Agnar were killed, and his brother Ivar the Boneless and others went into battle to avenge these sons of Ragnar. As discussed, Thora, daughter of Sigurd Hring, is unsourced. It is the same lack of proof among the children of Sigurd Snake in the Eye for a daughter named Thora. However, when we look at Ragnarvold Heidemherr and lay out the timeline as we've done, two things we can say for certain are that any daughter of Sigurd Snake in the Eye would be impossibly young to be a wife of Ragnarvold Heidemherr. 
and that Sigurd Hring and Sigurd Snake in the Eye, although similar in name and features, were two different individuals that reigned roughly a century apart. Check out the related video linked on screen, the true relation between Ragnar and Rollo, along with others you may find interesting linked in the description box below. If you have any questions or comments, please put them in the comment section below. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.